piece in from the icy white holes of Dakota Toritary United States of Antennas. Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, da 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 dit da 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 with a little speculation, a little daydreaming, which I seem to have become increasingly good at lately, thanks to the clonazepam misprescribed by my doctor, daydreaming and sometimes night, day, day mareing, okay, day mare, you know, you can imagine. But here's sort of something like a, both a day mare and a daydream. You know how long wire antennas work. If you take a straight, long a wire antenna, and by long I mean at least several wavelengths, and feed it at the end, say with an antenna tuner, the longer you make that wire in terms of the number of wavelengths, the stronger the main lobes get, but the more nearly in line with the wire they get. In addition to that, you get multiple lobes in other directions, and the, the longer the wire gets, the more of those lobes you get, but they're much weaker than the main lobes. You can read up about long wire antennas in the ARRL antenna book or the ARRL handbook, and I think uh, I've also done some videos about uh, long wire antennas, at least one, but I'd be doggone if I could find it among the 2,000 or so rants that I've done on this uh, YouTube medium since my initiation in June of 2012. The point of it is this. I'd like you to imagine making a long wire, straight long wire, without any of the external effects of surrounding objects to disrupt the radiation pattern, longer and longer and longer. What's going to happen is that these main lobes are going to become stronger and stronger and sharper and sharper and more and more nearly in line with the wire until if you get a long wire that's, say, 500 wavelengths long, almost all of the RF energy is going to be beamed right along the axis of the wire in a very, very sharp, narrow, high-gain lobe. So sharp and narrow, in fact, that you could probably use an antenna like that for moon bounce communications or some such. Uh, and just forget about the other half of your radiated power that will go into the ground when you aim the thing up at the moon. But the point of all of this is you can get a lot of gain with a long, long straight wire antenna, but of course it becomes rather unwieldy to control the direction of such a thing. It's great, though, when you fly a kite or, or a balloon with a wire antenna like that, and it happens to be at a low enough angle so that you get some DX station right in the pipeline of that wire. But now imagine that you continue to make it longer than 500 wavelengths. A thousand, ten thousand, a million, a quadrillion, and then finally, through some magical act of amateur radio voodooism, you make that wire infinitely long. Now, I'm not going to go into Einstein's and other theories of the universe where it would curve around in itself and come back from behind after 200 billion light years have, have gone. Imagine that the universe were Euclidean, just for a moment, meaning flat space, so that you could run that wire out to infinity well, not to infinity, but you could run it out forever and ever and ever. What would the radiation pattern look like then? Well, it's tempting to suppose that you'd have infinitely strong lobes right along the axis of the wire, so that they'd, the power, the RF power, would be concentrated into a, a point with zero area and zero dimension, but it would be infinitely strong. In other words, you'd have an infinite amount of nothing or no amount of, inf of, an, of an infinite supply of something. You see what I'm saying here? No, I don't smoke cannabis. <laughs> Maybe if I did, it'd be even better, eh? 
Well, that's another topic. Um, there's been a great deal of interest in my videos having to do with cannabis, way out of proportion to what I would have supposed. And it's starting to get kind of fun, so I'm going to start carrying on a little bit with that. So those of you who have been watching my videos related to cannabis, keep watching. I'm going to have some fun with you, as these benzodiazepines will allow. But what would you actually get? Well, that's kind of an academic question because you can't extend it to infinity. But suppose that you did make it, oh, an octillion wavelengths long. You'd get millions, octillions of little minor lobes. How strong would they be? And that major lobe would be so tiny, so concentrated, that you could pretty much disregard it for all intents and purposes. And as to how much of the RF power it would actually consume, I can't say. I mean, what's, a, what's an octillion times zero? <laughs> We're getting into theory that I was very interested in in high school and never could solve. Division by zero and all these kinds of things. But would you get a true isotropic radiator? Would you get an infinitely strong lobe just in one direction that you could actually use for something like beaming an intense ray of radio frequency energy at a particular cell in somebody's body and destroying that cell? Be a pretty good sized medical instrument, don't you think? But it, this is all just a theoretical mind trip. Sort of like what Einstein used to do. Yeah, I'm good at daydreaming and daymaring, just as Einstein was. You know, the, the theory uh, or the story behind Einstein's uh, general theory of relativity is that he was sitting in a bubble bath. And he used to sit in bubble baths for hours and hours and hours. And he looked at these bubbles, and these bubbles seemed to have a natural shape because it was like water finding its own level. They wanted to be spherical like that. So he thought, I wonder, that must be the simplest possible shape for something to attain in nature. Suppose that the universe obeys the law of simplicity and seeks its own level as water does. Could the universe then be shaped like one of these bubbles? That's how the story goes. I, I believe it, too. I believe it. So let's think about this infinitely long, long, long wire antenna. Straight and infinitely long. I'm going to leave comments open here, and you can tell me what you think the radiation pattern would look like. But please, spare me the cannabis rants. Do those on my cannabis videos. I'm just having a little break between book projects and trying to recover from this awful, awful prescription medication. I'm not real, real keen on the American medical industrial racket right now. I think they're, I, I don't think that they're uh, doing the public as much good as they are harm sometimes, but I could be wrong. You know, as my Uncle John said, I've only been wrong once in my entire life. And that was the time that I thought I was wrong, but I was really right. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. And you know the code drill. Saying 73, da 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 da, and peace out. So long. <laughs>